Hey guys, Scott here from Red Rock Maintenance. So today I am just out cutting lines with the guys. We are short two people actually. Uh, Amanda had needed a day off, so that's why I'm driving. And I had a guy text me at five in the morning saying he was not feeling well. So we are only three people today. Uh, we've got a lot of big lawns to cut today. We've got our big 31 unit property to cut. Then we've got another big commercial one and then um, a couple other uh, properties here and there to do. So. Not sure how long this is going to take us, but I'm going to try and get some video today. Um, a lot of these properties I don't think I've cut yet when I'm uh, filming, so I will try and see what I can get for you. And to put things, uh, sorry, it's a little dark. Um, and uh, make matters even worse, it's supposed to rain today. It's kind of spitting out now. I don't think it's supposed to rain a lot, just uh, some spitting here and there. So we'll see how that goes. Alrighty, if you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. My voice may sound a little, little bit off while I'm recording this. So I'm starting to get sick, I think, so I may be a little bit off while I'm speaking. Anyways, like I said at the start of the video, this is our big 31 commercial uh, unit that we picked up this season. Uh, this is the biggest property I've ever mowed. Um, I didn't even know how to quote this, so I actually ended up getting my uh, friend from Quebec, Daniel, uh, to help me uh, quote this. He does a lot of commercial properties. Um, I met him on a Facebook group for Canadian Lawn Cares and met him in the GIE in 2019. So he's been amazing at helping me with uh, some things I don't know how to do and quote and whatnot. So he uh, helped me put a quote together for this property and uh, we ended up getting it. So the way I got this property was I had a old customer um, that sold his house up on a different lake and uh, ended up buying a unit in his property, which I did not know. Uh, and then in the wintertime, he had called me and asked me, if I wanted to quote this lawn care because uh, the guy that was uh, doing it actually lived here and he was an older gentleman, I think like 70 or whatnot, and uh, he was moving out and didn't want to cut it anymore. So he uh, called me up and asked me if I wanted to quote it. I said, I sure do. So um, I came and quoted it and we got the job. Um, and a little side note, back in the day when I first started my business, before all these uh, homes were here, uh, they were just starting to get this uh, place going. I think there's maybe about... 10 or so uh, buildings are already up. Uh, we actually started to uh, do some work for them. Uh, but I'm not sure why we lost it or what happened there. But anyways, I've always wanted to get this property and I got it back. So I was quite excited. Um, and he actually just asked me a couple of weeks ago if I was going to uh, re-quote for next year. But I kept the price for next year because it's actually priced very high. And I'm making some really good money on this lot. So um, I'm not too worried about um, quoting any higher. I might do it for the next year, but I'm quite happy with uh, you know the price of it. This is actually my second time only cutting this property. Uh, I cut it the first time of the season when we did it for the first time, and then uh, because Amanda wasn't here, I was out mowing lawns. So uh, yeah, we were just uh, out mowing them. Uh, I think this place takes about two, two and a half hours with uh, four people. With three of us, I think it may, may take them actually about the same time, actually, to be honest. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good property, Mo. I'm happy we got it. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you haven't done so already, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank <laughs> you. 